morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Saskia, aka Sassy Coloring, and today's video is going to be about the Spectrum Noir marker storage trays. So this is not a sponsored video, so any opinion that I'm giving, I'm giving to you as just that. It's my opinion. Yours may differ, and that's okay. If I like them, you might hate them. If I hate them, you might like them. We all have our own opinions, and that's fine. That's good. What I do want you to do is see exactly what you get in the box, show you what I think of them, and then you can make your own informed decision from there. So let's go through the statistics. You can fit 72 markers. Um, they're made specifically for the Spectrum Noir sizes, but I have tried them with other markers and they do fit very well. There are six different trays and you can stack them in a wide variety of different ways. So as you can see here, you can have them in one straight tower, you can have them on a diagonal, or you can set the trays side by side and still stack them. So they're currently for sale on Amazon.co.uk for £16.50. And they, when I checked them on the .com site, they were around $23. Quick side note, I'm doing the voiceover in my living room as I've had to vacate my normal space. So I have a fire crackling in the background, that's probably the popping you can hear. And I have four very beautiful but noisy guinea pigs. Whenever they hear any kind of noise, I'll show you. <laughs> Assume that they're going to be fed. So I apologise in advance for that back to our Spectrum Noir tray. So the idea of them is that they can click together in a couple of different ways. You can click them together on the sides using the grooves or you can stack them on top of each other or both. I'm about to show you the hardest way possible to put these together. Why I struggled so badly with them I don't know. But they are a lot easier to put together than what I've made it look. So as you can see, you can open out the tray there, go two or three wide, and then stack them on top of each other. Or as I'm going to show you now, you can stack them straight up. Now the way that they click in, there are different kind of clicking mechanisms. So once they're together, they're pretty sturdy, but you can take them apart if you decide that you don't want them to stack up straight and you'd like to have the tiered effect, the diagonal effect, then you can take them apart without breaking them and rearrange. So I've just sped the next few bits up for you so you don't have to see me fight with them because that it was very unnecessary. There was no reason for me to be fighting with them. They are very easy to put together. It's just for whatever reason, my hand-eye coordination was non-existent on this day. So as you can see, that's what they look like on a vertical stack. And now I'm gonna show you very quickly, take them apart and put them together on the diagonal stack. And that's what it looks like on the diagonal. So I did get a pack of the Spectrum Noir markers to see how well they fit into it. Obviously because the Spectrum Noir brand should all fit together perfectly. But I'm also going to try out some different markers, some different brands to see how well they sit into the slots that are made. So as I thought, these markers fit in wonderfully. They look great in there. The size is perfect. They all fit in um, really comfortably. And this is what it looks like from the side, again with the diagonal stack. You can see the colors. It, it just, 
in my opinion, it looks fab. It looks like um, your markers are displayed really well. So if you have a dedicated space that you can put these, they don't actually take that much space because you can tear up or out. So if you've got a long thin space, it can fit. And if you also have a tall space, it will fit. So I think it's a really good idea, really well designed. And again, obviously these markers fit in just lovely. So now I'll see how my Winsor & Newton Pro Markers fit in. Um, they have a round barrel, so I was wondering would they kind of roll about in the slot that was provided, uh, but not. They fit really well actually. I'm not sure if there's a standard length that markers normally are, but they seem to be pretty much the same length. So there isn't too much of the marker barrel hanging over the end that it wouldn't be nice and stable inside there. It holds them and cradles them really well with enough room to get your finger in to pull a marker out. So say you've got one right in the center, you haven't got to kind of pull out two or three to get the one you want. There's enough room to just take out the one you want. So while that sounds like it's a, a bit of an obvious design flaw, another set that I did use had that where the markers were so stuck together, so tight together, that if I wanted a certain one, I would have to maybe remove two or three to get to the one I wanted. So now the Copic Chows. And as you can see, they do have a thinner barrel than the other two. So they definitely have a bit more wiggle room than than either of the other two. Um, Spectrum Noirs fit in, they're, they're tight in the case. And when I say tight, I mean that they're secure. Whereas the Copics, they can move slightly. But I can't see it being a problem if you're not going to carry them around the house. Um, which is not what these are intended to be anyway, are they? So they're just going to store your markers. They don't look as uniform when you put them all in. But they are still a great way to store your markers. So for me this ends up being a really good storage solution for my markers. I've got them lying flat. All the different brands are going to fit into the same, same one, same stack. Um, it's a sturdy unit. If there was one thing I was going to moan about, it's got to be the price. At £17 for one stack, if you're buying one or two, it's not so bad. 10 or 11 then you're going to have to start putting some real money in. But you can still buy them one at a time. So it's not really a moaning point. Just if I had to find something, that would be it. So I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. The notification bell will notify you whenever I upload a video. If you like the video, then I'll know to do more stuff like this. And if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to review next, leave it in the comments below. Stay safe, and as always, stay sassy.